Hello, my lovely Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's get right into the rest of your April monthly love forecast, Taurus, all right? So many of you are clearing your energy, all right? Out with the old and with the new. And then as you do this, as you realize your worth, as you realize you deserve new true love, Taurus, here comes this ex wanting to reconcile with you here. We are in Mercury retrograde until April 24th. This is someone you had a lot of passion and fun times with. And then the passion just kind of fizzled out. You kind of just took your control. You took your power back. You just stopped caring, you know? And as you do this here, we have new love, a new person that stirred your romantic feelings, right? As you took control back, you know, some of you could be dating someone new right now. This new love, this ex feels that or they even... They either fill you with someone else or they feel you pulling away energetically here, okay? Knowing that you deserve love, they're like, wait a minute, you're not going anywhere with Cupid's Earl type energy. So new love is happening. It's a, if it hasn't yet, I feel like by the month of April, you know, you're going to be in a new connection right now. Someone that you have known before in the past life, a lot of playful, fun, romantic vibes here. Or again, um, there's some new feelings involved in regards to an ex energy Taurus all right so divine timing is at work through in your love life here your intuition is heightening you're going through an awakening to where it's like you're you're going to go through a reevaluation of your past relationships and then also you know the words have came to light for some of you in relationships to where it's like you've been hurt. You don't be hurting again. So this person is realizing that too in a in intuitive sense where it's like they know they did wrong. They know how much they made you unhappy if you're dealing with the Leo. And it's like their worst fears is coming to like two tours, if that makes sense. Okay. So um, they're trying to manifest you back into their lives. The weight is heavy. It's like, I want to talk to you right now type energy. Let's just see what they want to say. You have a hold on my heart. I lost myself for a while. So many things remind me of you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. To allow the situation to unfold naturally here. And it's like, you know what? I don't really care. <laughs> you know, you're in this energy to where it's like you kind of irritated me. So I have the five of swords and the will coming in in regards to your love life. Like I was saying, there's new love that's coming in. But again, there's an ex that's really clinging on to your energy right now. So you just, you just may have to do something to change your energy a little bit, Taurus. You know, um, that can even be, be involved wellness, working out, you know, um, drinking health drinking healthier taking a break from drinks when i'm picking up or um, drinking more smoothies fruit things like that i have forgiveness look for a sign ask your angels and listen to that intuition all right your intuition will never betray you here so with the leo energy strength card um you, you could have this person this ex attached to your energy um sagittarius aries leo is very heartbroken about you strong leo energy because they know what you deserve and they know the potential that they could have gave you. And that's what breaks them the most. That's what breaks them the most, Taurus. I have balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Working less will help strengthen it. And then new love. Yeah, a new love, a recommitment to love is developing. And this is a destined partnership. So again, reconciliation doesn't always necessarily have to mean we heal this and then we get back together. No, this could be a conversation towards like a closure moment where I'm going to say what I need to say and then leave you alone for good. Like we could be cool, but I'm going to keep you at a distance type energy. It's never going to be that way again. I see you choosing yourself, healing the inner child, growing, your relationship evolving to the next phase with your inner self. And there's some new love that's coming in once you let this go. So I have have faith, love is coming, a surprise invitation or meeting up with this person. I have endings is bringing new beginnings here. But yeah, I feel like we're girl talk. You're going to move forward. Time with friends, moving on, happier, happier, happier singer living in the moment as you release this ex. Because you gave them a chance or blew it. You could just be blocking them. Virgo energy, Scorpio energy. I feel like it's an ending that is just not going to get resurrected. I feel like this is a good call, Taurus, honestly. Um, throughout the month of April, you know, you're really going to decide this. Because it's like you're going to choose yourself first. If someone's becoming a burden and a bonus in our life, why keep putting that hurt on ourselves? You're going to come across a very passionate encounter. It could be at a park, outside, hiking, during a work event, when you're out with your dog or a pet or an animal. They're going to be out with the pet or an animal. It's going to be like a very particular connection right away very intelligent 
But yeah, just be aware of self-sabotaging because you're going to know instantly that this new person is going to be your soulmate, Gemini energy. But again, you know, protect your peace, but to an extent, okay? <laughs> Loosen up a little bit when this new love comes in because it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, it's karma being re rewritten and this is long-term goals for you, Taurus. You definitely deserve this new start, this new beginning um, as we uh, go out, go towards the month of April here. So I feel like the end of April is going to be really good as we approach Gemini season for you, Taurus. I have your dream needs a practical plan. Well, your season, but you know what I mean. Your dreams need a practical plan. Taurus, here you are. Emotions are running high. Yeah, a time for healing and work through your fears. Your hard work will pay off. A lot of money coming in. A lot of money, a lot of victories, a lot of wins here. And your growth or business, if you've been thinking about a business, Taurus, I recommend definitely starting that, okay? Gonna pull some more cards over here. I have surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it will all work out. And then I have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings and they are letting on. And the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith, Taurus, all right? I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Have a wonderful week.